Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video we are celebrating a collaboration between Heavy Doodle and Trinity Stamps. So I will feature products from, from products from both companies and I will be create a really fun interactive card uh, using the mini double slider die from Heffy Doodle and from Trinity Stamps you can see I already stamped out and started coloring in uh, one of the new stamps called uh, Cozy Bear uh, Boater and it's a part of the June release from Trinity Stamps and I thought it would be really fun if the bear was fishing and caught one of the fish and that would pop up uh, I thought of maybe my my dad or somebody like that when I created this. So a little bit more of a masculine card I was going for, but I think it could fit anybody really. So, uh, but that was just uh, the story behind why I created a card like this. So I had a blast coloring in. If you are new to Copic markers, this is a really large image to use and perfect for you to practice your coloring. And for the slider mechanism to make it work, I just cut a piece of plastic that I had in my kitchen uh, to be fitting on top of this. You can see from one bag you can get a lot of sliders. And I kept going until I got the perfect size. You can see my die here on screen, so it was just measuring so that everything would be fitting. And then I laid it around this piece and took some double-sided adhesive and glued it for one side at the top towards the and I made sure that it fit perfectly so it didn't have any adhesive on the other side uh, because then the mechanism could be like making a hiccup and I didn't want that. Now making sure that I didn't put it too tight so it wouldn't move nicely and cut away the excess of my plastic bag so it wouldn't cut or like get cut in anything when you are sliding your card. And then you can see I created two tabs here and I will take some double-sided tape as well. And a tip I think is to put it the first tab on top of your already adhered and glued down tab, if that makes sense. So it's a little bit more secured. Uh, I know that Heffy Doodles, Heffy Doodle are having tutorials on their website on how to put this die together if you think this goes too fast. You can always uh, click on the three small dots up in your right corner if you want to slow this video down as well. So I just wanted to mention that. And on those three dots you can also increase the quality of the video uh, and make sure that it's in the highest uh, quality when you're watching it so it's easier to see what I'm doing here. So I'm peeling off that one and you can see I've twisted it and have it on the other side and then I'm pulling that. So you can see how our mechanism is moving. And when I think everything looks good and that mechanism is ready, it's time to work on our panel here. So in that die set with uh, the bear from Trinity Stamps, there is also a die in that that cuts a wave. And that I use to create uh, the top of my panel here because I need something to hide our pop-up mechanism with. So I will pop that up or raise that up with some foam uh, tape in a second here, but before I do that I try to uh, adhere my bear and everything on top of the boat so I know where everything is gonna go and how much space that I have left. So I just took my teal cardstock here and cut the same panel with the waves and everything so I think it looks nicely and you can see he already cut some fishes there so he's a happy happy camper. <laughs> And then for my thread and and for making it look like he really caught the fish, I would take some twine and I just, I didn't have any proper twine in my stash. I just went for this gold thread and I think in the end that this looks really good actually. And I just glued that in place in his hand and I didn't cut away the twine until I was happy with the arrangement and making sure that the fish really is in the right place. Uh, so it looks like he cut the fish. Um, so you can see here I'm just playing around with the placement of this. Uh, but before I adhered everything I also took a couple of dies from another newly released uh, die set from Trinity Stamps and just took the clouds from that. It's from the up up and away 
uh, stamp set. And I wanted some contrasting colors here, so I just did some more waves. Uh, so it got a little bit more of a movement. And I am super happy with how that turned out. Did the same thing to our little flap here, so everything coordinates. And then we are going to use some double-sided uh, foam strips. These are also from Hefe Doodle. They are perfect for their interactive elements making sure that I have everything placed out so it can move freely. I will now take the die that comes in this set and make a little slit so that the recipient know where to grab this panel. And then I will adhere this mechanism on top of it. I hope that makes sense. You can see that it will slightly stick up when I am having it here, but that is okay. I making sure that it looks good like that you can see how it moves I will actually also cut away just that slightly bit on the top since I cut it to be a little bit too narrow but that is okay you can customize your dies as you wish and then I just grabbed a marker to know where the center of that is and then I pulled out a Trinity Stamps set that is for interactive cards. I just took the die or sorry the stamp that said pull and stamped that out. Took some more double sided adhesive and some glue and making sure that I don't glue my moving parts to the card. And now I will adhere this to the base, card base. And that is pretty much it for the mechanism. You can see everything moves nicely. And now I will adhere my boat and my clouds and everything like that. And this is always my favorite part of creating a card to decorate it. I think it's so much fun. So now we are pretty much done. I will cut away the excess of my car, uh, my, um, clouds and we will attach our boat and our fishing and our fish so now it's time for a little fish here to be put in the right place I took some adhesive put the fishing line to the mouth of the fish and then I will glue it in place So here we go, some double sided foam tape to the back side of our boat, so everything coordinates. You can see here, I have a lot of foam tape here. And I will actually double some foam tape up and have it on top of the bear once more, just to make sure that I have a lot of dimension. I love dimensional cards. Now it starts to look finished and we can see how the card looks when it's all finished. For my sentiment for my card I used a stamp set from Heffy Doodle called Popping By and it has the most perfect sentiments for this card you can see here. It says Popping By to say and then you can continue your sentiment and you can see I stamped it a couple of times just to make sure that I had everything nicely. So I had a sentiment popping by to say let's celebrate. So really nice and I love white embossed on black. So that is what I did. And of course I used some more of the double sided foam strips from Heifer Doodle to adhere my sentiments underneath the boat. And that pretty much finished off our card for today. I will have the first link down below to the next person in this blog hop and uh, you can follow the links and make a comment on all of the stops and be able to win amazing prizes. 
So don't miss out on that opportunity because both of the companies, both Heffy Doodle and Trinity Stamps are giving away uh, gift cards. So check that out. I hope you like this video uh, and give it a thumb up as well. It really helps me out making sure that YouTube knows that you enjoying the content that you got today. And off the thought is when I'm looking at this card, it would have been super fun if I took one of the party hats from the Heifer Duel popping by stamp set and just adhere it to the fish. I wish I had done that. I think that had looked even more fantastic. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye!